I've got an A harmonica today, and I'm going to start with holes three, four, and five, isolate those holes, and then I'm going to switch it up and move to holes four, five, and six, just to see as an experiment how that goes. I think a really cool one to work through would actually be four, holes four through seven. I find that this is, you get a lot of mileage out of um, focusing on that spot for players that are trying to work on transitioning to the high end. So, same old track I love to use, just to stand, it, the reason I choose this medium shuffle and E a lot is just because it's the right tempo and just straight ahead. So let's do this, starting with holes three, four, and five. Let's actually try four through seven right now. really hard so I just hit by accident a 3-6 blow uh, the challenge is so I was supposed to stay four through seven so <laughs> you have to deny instincts like uh, playing octaves in that circumstance it's really challenging actually but hopefully you'll see you see that there's so many ideas contained on four through seven and there's so much you could be doing so go get it work on it keep isolating these holes you know just pick you know what? I'm going to end with two holes. Holes two and three. Just to sh share one more example of a cool area to isolate.
it is, little two, <laughs> holes two and three on an A-harp. I will see you soon with another video. I'm trying to remain spontaneous. I want to be spontaneous with a lot of these clips, you know. I, I'm, I'm learning, still learning about myself as a teacher, as a player, but I do better when I keep things spontaneous so I can react organically to what's happening. Today was one of those clips. I'll see you soon.